Welcome to the reading of the Book of Psalms. Bienvenidos a la lectura de los Salmos. Good morning. Good morning to you all. Good morning, Vivian. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Wow. We're back here again. Today's Monday, right? Monday. Monday, all day. And it's a great day. So we're doing Psalm 125. Can you believe we got, what, 25 more to 25 do? 25 more to go. Boy, and you know, as long as you keep going, you're going to get there. Don't stop. Don't look back. Don't see how much you got to go. Just keep on moving. Just keep on moving. You're Amen. going through a storm. Keep on moving. Uh -huh. Keep on moving. Don't stop. And keep on moving with who? The Lord his word. Amen. Amen. Psalm 125. Uh, we don't know who wrote it. And um, so we're going to start with verse one. Amen. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abides forever. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people from this time forth and forever. For the scepter of the wickedness shall not rest on the land allotted to the righteous, lest the righteous reach out their hands to iniquity. Do good, O Lord, to those who are good and to those who are upright in their hearts. As for such as turn aside to their crooked ways, the Lord shall lead them away with the workers of iniquity. Peace be upon Israel. Amen. You know, I don't care how much you study. He always gives you a little bit more. The mountains in verses 1 and 2, it talks about mountains. Back in the Bible times, the mountains were frequented by people for worship. They were symbols of permanence and trust. And Mount Zion is the chosen place of dwelling for the Lord. So I can imagine the Jewish people, when they look at the mountain, they start worshiping. The first thing that comes to their mind is worship. Worship who? Worship God. And it's a symbol of permanence and trust. So they know that God is always there. Yes. God is forever. He is eternal. Now it says that the mountains cannot be moved. We should not be moved either. We should be as firm as, though, as that mountain only God can move a mountain, physically, okay? <laughs> Only God. But we should not be moved by everything that's happening around us in the world today, in our own, uh, you know, personal lives. We should not be moved. We should look at God and say, God, you're my mountain. I worship you. Worship, 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 worship and permanence god you're permanent you're forever you're eternal and trust i trust you god yes. these are the words that should come out of our mouths when we're going through uh things that can shake us amen and um i'm gonna go on to verse five it says as for such as turn aside to their crooked ways so they must have been somewhere else before they turned to their crooked ways. And I believe that they were believers, people who knew God, that decided to make a decision and walk away, yes. right? And there's a consequence to that. It says here, the Lord shall lead them away with the workers of iniquity. And, and you know, apparently these crooked ways were their ways, what they used to do in the past. Amen. And they went back to the old ways. Now, um, modern day language, those who turn aside to their crooked ways are also called backsliders. They are people who have been close to God, but have allowed sin to take them away from him. Now, all of us have sinned. The Bible says that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But God has provided for us a solution to sin, and his name is Jesus. He died on the cross. They, they killed him. That, well, he gave himself. He gave himself for our sakes. Amen. They didn't kill him. He 
put himself on that cross. Understand that. He did that for you and for me for love. Yes. For love. For no other reason but for love. Amen. Amen. And so uh, these people that they have allowed them sin to take over their lives and take them away. When we sin, immediately repent. Repent means you change your mind, you change your heart. Your heart and your mind are united, you change direction. Amen? Amen. That's what repenting means. Repenting is not just say, I'm sorry, and go on your merry way. There's got to be a change. Mm -hmm. Amen? And in Christianity, you know, there's no standing still. The train keeps going. There's no, there either you move forward or you're moving back. Amen? You're, you're going in some direction, but you're not, you're not standing still. You're going in some direction. You know, he gave me a, an example. I, I've never laid a floor down. Have you? No. They say that when you've got to be really careful when you lay a tile or wood or whatever, because if you're one inch off, you may not see it as you're doing it. But when you get to the end of it, you're going to see a big difference. I think it's even less than that. Less than an inch? Oh, yeah. I've heard that. So I'm mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to be real careful with the measurements. You got to be careful with how you measure your life. It's just that when you stand still, eventually, may not be right away, mm -hmm. but eventually you start going backwards. Exactly. Cause it's it, like when you cut a branch. Mm -hmm. It's still green mm -hmm. a couple of days, but eventually it's yes. going to start dying and turning. Exactly. Because we're cut off. So don't think that you're staying in the same place because if you're not moving you're going back mm -hmm. and if you want to go back there's more territory to cover yes right and so what are the reasons for falling away what are the reasons for being in a backslidden position is one of the reasons is prayerlessness lack of prayer lack of spending time with god lack of spending time reading and studying the word amen and that, that's one of the big, big things. And also following God at a distance. You don't want to come close to him. And, and, God, and Jesus wants a relationship with you. No religion. He, he didn't come to establish a religion. And there's many religions. Yes. Amen. Many religions. The devil have sought to divide, to create a confusion uh, in, in some religions that are not not based on the Word of God, the true Word of God. Amen. And sometimes your associations. You know, when you get saved, you got these friends that you used to hang out with. Mm -hmm. And you used to go here and used to go to the bars and used to go there and everywhere, you know, everywhere that doesn't glorify God. And you continue to keep those associations. Well, sooner or later, you know, your body is going to, your flesh is going to say, because this flesh is not saved. Mm -hmm. <laughs> your flesh is going to, you know, they're going to say, come on, let's go have fun. And then you're going to give in. And the more you do it, the more you give in, the more you give in, you, you start moving back. Amen. Mm -hmm. There's two people in the Bible, two people in the Bible that faced the same thing and reacted totally different. There was Peter and Judas. Amen. Judas betrayed Jesus. For how many coins? 30 coins? I don't know how much that is in modern day money, but uh, he thought he was doing something good. But he betrayed Jesus, and when he realized what he had done, he decided to hang himself. He killed himself. There was no hope. He realized he had sinned. He realized he had done the wrong thing, and he, uh, you know, in a sense, he fell back. In a sense, he didn't make the decision to go to go the right way. And so there was no uh, no forgiveness for him there. I think the problem there was that he ran to the church instead of running to Jesus. Uh-huh. He ran to the church, to the priest, right, which he wanted to give back the money. They didn't want nothing to do with him. Mm-hmm instead of running to Jesus amen and asking Lord forgive me I messed up and he couldn't deal with that we have mm. to run to God oh there was no personal relationship there no 
Because if you have a personal relationship with Jesus, you know where to run to. Exactly. Now Peter ran to Jesus. Pe Peter, Peter was up in the upper room with all the rest of the disciples. You know, and the women, he was there. Peter had a different outcome. Peter denied Jesus three times. Jesus told him he would. And so when he realized on the third, the crow, the third crow of the, of the rooster, and he, he just broke down, he broke down. But even though he still found himself united with the others in the upper room, and Jesus, later on, Jesus appeared to him, and, uh, and he, Jesus asked him, Peter, do you love me? And he said, yes, you know I do. And so Jesus gave him instructions what to do. Peter's purpose continued it, you know, uh, Judas killed more than, than his body. He killed his purpose. And Peter, Peter decided to stay united with believers. He didn't walk away. He didn't go, he didn't fall in shame. Yes, he went through that, but he made a decision that he was going to stay with the apostles where his strength, you know, there's strength among believers when we're gathered together. And Judas so, went to the <clears throat> wrong place. Yes. <laughs> Hebrews 4.16 says, Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. That's where we need to run to. And do it quickly. Don't wait, because remember, you're not standing still. You're moving back or you're moving forward. And remember, God has made provision for sin. We all sin. There's no, sh no shame in that. You quickly repent. Know that God ha will forgive you. Know that God will give you the grace to keep going. Know that God's love did not cease. Amen. His love is everlasting. Amen. So God made provision for sin, and his name is Jesus. Yes. Amen. Amen. Got anything? No. Got it all covered. God is our strength. God yes. is our fortress. And God is our protector. Amen. That's the bottom line of this song. Remember that. Now we want to remind you, Vivian and I, rem uh, th first of all, thank those that have subscribed to our YouTube channel and encourage those who have not. It would be a blessing to you and it would be a blessing to us. Yes. And you find us in YouTube under radio and i'll spell the next word it's c-a-n-t-a-r-e-s cantares and you'll know the difference between that cantares and the rest because there are others uh throughout the world our cantares has the t in bigger letter and and in red and cantares by the way means song of solomon mm -hmm. so we encourage you to do that. You would be serving God if you if you uh, subscribed, and also share. Uh, you know, if you're on Facebook, uh, looking at us on Facebook Live, if you share, that would be promoting the Word of God at the same time. So we want to bless you today. We want to encourage you. We're entering into a new month. The end of the year is is here. Amen. The end of the year is here. We're getting ready to enter in 2022. New things. Amen. Amen. So you be blessed. And as always, bye-bye. Shalom.